There is the medic scientist. Yeah, he's going to come in very handy when I have an army. When I have an army being the absolute key here. <laughs> I do not have an army right now. That's quite the army you've just got sat outside my borders. Mm, what are you doing with that, eh? Hmm? Whatever it is, whatever your intentions, not keen. Not keen, okay? You can sit outside with crouching tigers all you want. Literally, they haven't attacked the entire game. This is just an exercise in, in trolling me, I think. That's all they're doing right now. Medieval era ends in 10 turns. Oh, it slipped by so quickly. So quickly. Fine. That's okay. We don't mind that at all. Uh, I need the... I think we're going to have to try and get a settler, aren't we? Let's see if we can get one out quickly. Go and explore. Find me some Niter. Niter is absolutely going to be one of the most crucial parts of this playthrough. Oh, these missionaries are so annoying. They're just sat in their own land. They know that there's holy site there. Like it's it's their it's their brilliant holy site. They're unkillable. It's just like, oh my god, please move somewhere else. World Congress. We did really well with the religious trade route last time, so we'll do that one again. And we're gonna vote down on coffee, because I don't think that I have coffee. Which is such a shame. Because us has always Loved coffee. You, you should give us some coffee. Oh, come on. That was good. Let's see if it goes through. What are they going to vote down on? No amber. Do I have amber? Don't know if I have amber. I did not. Aha. Fine. I can still buy amber, but it's now pointless. Also, how beautiful is this? It's not only my first boat, but it's also going to be a unique unit. Oh, 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 oh. That's six era score for me there. Beautiful. That should make them think twice about attacking me, but now we can go and explore quickly and see if we can't go and find ourselves a lovely, a beautiful source of nitre. Nitre is absolutely what we need right now. I, I need it. I need it so badly. Nobody's found it. Nobody wants to trade it with me. There's, there's one other person in the game, you know? Like, actually, there is a chance they might have nitre, so let's go and, let's go and do some exploration. Also, Ibrahim, I'm going to want you around. Now, I can put Ibrahim in capitals and city-states. So what I'm going to do is pop you into Yerevan. In one promotion's time, they'll be able to be give the beautiful advantage of plus 10 combat strength against city centers. We like that a lot. And they won't have to move for a considerably large amount of time. Or go on. Yes, 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 yes. The missionary stayed still. You fool. You fool, you've left yourself cripplingly open. There's all the missionaries. I knew they were around here somewhere. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. Right, that was a good victory on the religious battlefield. We like that a lot. Actually, I'm going to unlock mercenaries quickly because that gives me the ability to upgrade units cheaply. And I might need a really cheap warrior upgrade here just to have one unit. I think we're going to have to go for Baghdad first, right? This is absolutely what we're going to have to go for. So well, I'll just leave you there. See if we can get five nitre. That's all I need. We're just going to actually leave this on strategic resource nitre. As soon as someone is available to give me nitre, I need to jump on it. The thing I love about this is I have my unique boat, but it can't actually go into deep water yet. So I've got to get cartography manually. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Oh, hello, missionary. You appear to have left yourself open as well. Oh, well, bam. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I knew bringing a debater over would be a good idea. This has just cemented that for me. Georgia has an ironclad. You don't have nitre. Why, why are you getting ironclads when you could be getting nitres, uh, uh, nitre for me? Like, come on, be a good ally. Here's the question. How reliable an ally do you think Georgia is? I think probably reasonably good. So I might make them a military ally and see if I can take advantage of the fact that we're going after Arabia very soon. Coupe! Hey! Okay, actually, Coupe probably is settled everywhere. They have, but they have no nitre still. All right, well, there we go. We <laughs> Fine, they met everyone first. They get the era score. That's probably fair. They also have a decent navy. So I'm just, there we go. We've made friends with them already. Lovely stuff. It's all good to have some sort of fake friends for a little bit. And hey presto, there is four era score for totally removing Islam from the world. I say totally. There are two cities technically. Hatton technically follows. Where on earth is Hatton? Who one knows? Oh, over there somewhere. All right, well, we'll keep an eye out for that. But, but you know, for now, for now it's gone. 
Oh, actually, this will be really handy for later. Really handy for later. El Cid, that's a better general that will work on bombards. So just keep an eye on that one. One era score remaining in five turns. Wow, we massively boosted that at the end. Civil service. Do you like Arabia? They don't. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Joint war, colonial war. No, no. Okay, actually, you might have been at war with them already. Okay, then. I think Georgia's still got the bigger army. They don't want a military alliance. To... Oh, they want a religious alliance, though. Hell yeah. And that's because they've got their own religion, so that's good. Okay, fine. Military, no. Do I have to pay you? I have to pay them. Not much, but enough to make it annoying. But China is not going to think twice against attacking me, because if they do attack me, they've got to take on Georgia and Coupe at the same time. And between us, we have, we have a few units. Religious emergency. Okay, we want to vote that down but not voting it down hard because there is still a glitch in the game if you have a religious emergency and you win it from that point onwards oh there's our um, era score by the way from that point onwards every time you take a city over you get a religious burst of pressure as if you'd won the emergency just from you know a usual domination attack on a city it's ridiculous it's broken it's beautiful oh georgia that was accidental. Fine, I'll take your diplomacy. That's I can sell it back to you. In fact, I've come across this random diplomatic favor. Do you want it back? 18 gold per turn. Yes, of course they do. Lovely. So I bought myself a second Corsair because I'm going to go and send it off in this direction. I've got a Settler ready in four turns. As I say, Nitre. I just need some Nitre. As soon as we can get some Nitre, then the war is on, everyone. Tell you what, though, it would be good if I could actually get into the sea. That would be cool. Golden Age, Renaissance Era, and divine right which means i've unlocked a new government which means that i can get two more governors beautiful scripture urban planning natural philosophy i think there's nothing better for me right now what i could do though maritime, oh, maritime industries is not what i want i want better boat building so instead let's go for the raid card because i'm just about to start using that in, in theory no no not actually um Oh, so there's so much stuff I need and none of it I actually have. Conscription, veterancy, that'll have to do for now. Oh, a Dark Age for Arabia. That's pretty good for me. We like that. I'm thinking Exodus just purely because that will help me to spread my crusade further. So yeah, combined with Yerevan, it's such a good combination. I love it. So Ibrahim now has Seraska, which is the plus 10 combat strength when attacking city centers. It's, oh, it's so good. I can't, I can't even tell you how good that is. It's, it's just wonderful. I mean, Victor, I'm going to give Garrison Commander. Uh, we were also one promotion away. Look, honestly, these units, they need to just go away, please. Actually, I'm going to make a second debater and I'm going to go and knock China's religion out because this is just revenge now. Like at this point, they have not left me alone and I'm just going to go and uh, convert them not, not because I want to or need to but because it's uh it's hilarious oh wow have you got enough army here it <laughs> Ugh. Don't think about it too much. You'll you'll begin to have heart palpitations. Oh, Georgia has nitre. Arabia has actually started getting nitre as well. But you have nitre. Oh my god, please sell it to me. I need it. I only need five. Or t ten at the very minimum at the moment, and then five in a little bit. But that's all I need. Lahore, another city-state. Nice, another military one. That's good. If I ever got kill work, that means I could do the combination and build units super quickly. Singapore, another industrial city-state, interesting, very interesting. Not what I need right now though, I need nitre. Still haven't found any anywhere, which is really annoying. Oh god, if nothing else happens, if nothing else happens, then we do get the nitre from Baghdad in 11 turns plus 10, so 21 turns. Oh, that would be so long. I don't want to wait that long. Samarkand, that's another city-state. None of these are easy to steal though, unfortunately, which means even if they had nitre, I'm not entirely sure there's anything I could really do. Yet my settler hasn't found any either. I was really hoping there'd be some just hidden in the middle of this island, but nope. And George is using the nitre for troops. Uh, I was watching them. They went up to 20 and they've gone back down again now. It's like, ah, come on. You know, there's a chance if we attack Baghdad, Yerevan will kill it, not me. I mean, it will get raised. Uh, 
I think that is a sneaky, sneaky old strategy and I like it. Right, let's get one more Corsair and then we'll get another one. Let's switch our cards around. Conscription, I mean, that's, I mean, it's half useful, but what I do need instead is Raid. So let's pop that on briefly and Coupe, you're a good ally. Come on, let's go to war. Huzzah! And Georgia wants to go in as well. That is even better. Come on, let's give you something to do as well. Oh, even China wants in. You see, I love it. I love it when you play the AI diplomatically and before you know it, they're at war with the entire world. They're sat there going, I literally have no idea what I did wrong. And we're sort of looking at it going, I'm not entirely sure you did do anything wrong. Now, the best bit about these unique boats is that they can pillage with no movement cost means they can go and just say hmm delicious I'm just gonna go and uh, go back to sea and we'll go get some thief from over there it's it's beautiful oh, by the way I'm already causing an absolute nightmare for China we're uh doing really good fun oh no that course is probably gonna steal the satellite I gambled on there being knighted there that was a silly move oh terrible anyway I've uh, managed to do this oh yeah there we go I knew they wouldn't be able to resist for long come on you come find me I'm only attacking missionaries if I can guarantee kill them that's kind of what I'm going for here let's yeah, get this harbor and I know I really want to. It's, it's really good. I want more of my unique boats. They're too good to ignore. I'm hoping Yerevan will pluck up the courage to attack themselves. We'll see if that works out. They probably won't, but <laughs> you never know. Ah, there you go. Right, there's the missionary. This is what I'm talking about. Wait for them to appear and then attack and get the kill. We can start just slowly whittling down the religion in this nation. Oh, luckily the barbs didn't kill me. I'm just going to found a city on this continent. I might not be able to keep it, but I mean, there's nothing else was really happening with it. So this is where you can see at least a small part of this working amazingly well. Ranged attack onto Baghdad. There's no crusade, but the Seraska is working from my governor stationed in Yerevan. 60 combat strength. Bam. That's a powerful attack. Okay, this will really annoy China. This is an apostle that removes 75% of all of the religion in a city. <laughs> Come on, men missionaries. Off you pop. Sometimes if you're struggling to pin them down, convert a city and they'll all run to it to try and fix the problem. Speak of the devil. Using a guru just to trap this missionary in. We've got area of control now, blocking it from moving. And we can get that kill pretty easily. And Wuhan. There you go, another city converted as well. Beautiful. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, nom and nom, 600 gold. Thank you so much, off we go. The harbor's finished, that's era score, religious emergency. Yay, I have 200 diplomatic favor from that. Thank you very much, game. Oh, that's a deal. Look at that, yeah, that'll that'll fund me for some time. But again, as I've mentioned before, every time I now take a city, get a lovely little burst of pressure. Hello, this is a trebuchet. Say hello, trebuchet. Hello, I've got a big wooden thing and I'm going to attack. Brilliant, lovely to meet you, Trebuchet. I see you've got 45 bombard strength. That's exciting, isn't it? However, it's going to be plus five because we are the Ottomans and plus five because of a great general and plus 10 because of Crusade and plus 10 because of Saraska. So, huh, wonder what um, wonder what this 45 is going to turn into. Ah, yes, of course, 75 strength Trebuchets. Wabam. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. So what we're hoping now is that Yerevan kills Baghdad. If they do that, I can immediately get myself a settler and go and settle the nighter. It is a very hopeful thing, but if uh, there's nothing else, I am very hopeful. Oh, hello, Mr. Missionary. Where do you think you're going? Well, bam. <laughs> oh, no. You want the cradle of Buddhism? Dear, oh, dear. You seem to be worshipping giant death crabs now. That's uh, it's funny how that happens. Buddhism must just not be in fashion anymore. Bam, by the way. Look at that. Yes, we are converting this entire nation. This is the power of Yerevan, by the way. You've never really played around with the city-state before? Yeah, I'd recommend it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Here we go. Embrasia. Free promotion whenever I build a unit. So every time I build a unit now, it appears in Victor's City. I think... We haven't got an armory in this city yet, but that'll be a nice easy flip in a second. Now go on, go on your event. Attack! Attack! Charge! Charge! You know you want to. Go and... Uh, why are city-state troops so useless? Why is it that every single game involves me relying on the AI? It never... <laughs> Oh, it's my nemesis. Anyway, this is going to be worth eight science per turn because this holy site now converts itself beautifully. Lovely stuff. Actually, this is a really, really good way for me to upgrade my bombard. Yeah, just going to leave that to happen for a while. Most frustrating thing about all of this is every turn we have to wait without nitre. 
is just another turn where the AI is beginning to just get her further and further and further ahead. And I'm like, oh no, I need, I need it. I just need some nighter. Any nighter right now would be amazing. Oh, please. Like I've been genuinely searching around the map and oh, there's a third source. Where's the third source? Oh, it's there. Oh, that could be improved by a city state? No, that's actually owned by China, isn't it? I guess if they've got it, that's one other person that they could, I mean, could trade with me. But look, George is just refusing to still. Oh, 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 it says minus 20. Ugh, that's not good. But do I care? Probably not. Right, settler, onward bound. How do we get there? That is a convoluted and scary route. I don't know if I agree with that at all. Actually, no, I agree with this much. Get to there. And then we'll go from there. Oh, yeah, no, if we can get that nighter, that's going to take like 20 turns to get there, but never mind. We'll unlock bombards, then I'll get square rigging. At least it'll go a little quicker after that point. Just a touch. Military emergency. Oh, they just, everyone's burning their diplo theater. That was because Georgia just took this city, which they're not going to hold on to. But it's good to see the world in fighting whilst they should be fighting me. A little bit of extra faith, which is good. I noticed that Georgia has got a ton of missionaries in my land. And I can take advantage of that by just, again, making a bunch of debater apostles and then we can kill them all. I mean, I know I have a religious alliance with Georgia, but it doesn't stop me from getting kills on their religious units, which is just wonderful. Oh, they don't have anything to stop it as well. Trebuchet can move and fire, which is useful. Um, and uh, yeah, we can just knock the walls off Aleppo. Again, I just, I'm ready. I'm ready to take some cities. I just need any nighter so I can upgrade my troops. Anything right now will do. I am desperate. As I say, we said the rules. I'm only using unique troops and siege equipment, and the only melee troop I have is the Anissary. And so without any nighter, we are screwed. Yeah, sorry about this, Georgia, but um your your missionaries are they are tribute now. He 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 he. Uh thank you. A uh, thank you. And another attack there. Okay, Baghdad has flipped. Oh, and China destroyed it. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, right, that this is wonderful. Let's send trade routes to me. You know you want to, and let's build... Let's not build city center stuff. Let's see if we can avoid uh, getting walls up. Probably not going to go through, is it? No, city center walls will go up twice as quickly. Doesn't matter. We are very good at destroying walls. Okay, 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 okay. This is about as exciting as we have had so far. Sattler, let's go and get that nighter. Oh, yes, I am incredibly excited about how this is going now. My units are basically just leveling themselves up by attacking defensible districts and there's not really anything else they can do right now. I've got beautiful trebuchets that are, again, I've got quite a few of them. What we're going to do is we're going to sweep through Arabia and then I'm actually going to turn my attention straight to Georgia before they can get all of their wars up. They're probably going to have a lot of their wars up by this point, but I've been given an amazing opportunity to take out a bunch of their missionaries right now before we're even kind of needing to get into their land. So this is actually quite handy. They appear to have a lot of religious units, so we'll take advantage of it while we can. Why not? This is, this is brilliant. My original China killing apostles are now going across the sea. And if we can find many more sources of nitre, it's probably going to be something we're going to want a lot of by the end of this. Peace, eh? Nope, you're not giving me our nitre to me, so there's no peace for you. Actually, I don't even know if I take the peace, even if they did give me the nitre, to be honest. Exploration. Okay, I'm actually going to switch to Merchant Republic. That's a really good one for me. Raid is a good card, but I think Press Gangs is better because I want as many boats as I can get. Colonial officers will be maybe a little bit good later but much oh no diplomatic league for now that's good yeah as governments go it's pretty rubbish but i'll take it Oi, what are you doing? No, 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 I don't want to see you recovering your religion. I know that's your holy city, but that's not on. More nighter there. Uh, that's more difficult to get to because it's right near a bunch of people. But okay, we're finding it now on the map. This is, this is actually reasonably exciting. And there's George's nighter. It's right in the middle of all of their land. But okay, that's fine. Square rigging. Okay, that means my settler can now travel just a little bit quicker at sea. Only... 10 turns until the nighter. I think this one might arrive a little bit further sooner, which is great. I'm just going to settle right slap bang on the nighter. I mean, oh, loyalty is a problem though. Massive problem. Maybe I'll have to just buy the builder and do it that way. 
Who knows, I've actually got a couple of these trebuchets now to level 2, which is good. I'm just, again, I can't take any of the cities until I have that upgrade, but it's good for promotions generally. We circumnavigated the globe, but any map with coupe on, you'd always be slightly surprised if you were the first one to do it, and yeah, such is the case this time as well. Oh, Nita! Coupe, would you please actually improve some of your nighter? You've got tons of it. Then I could trade with you and I could buy all my units. I find that the AI never respects your need to dominate the planet, you know? <laughs> it's always so passive. It's like, oh, so do you really need to go to war with everybody? And I'm like, yes, of course I do. What a silly question. This is my favorite thing about the boats. It's like, uh, oh, I'm pretty injured. Steal all the health and uh, attack again. <laughs> it's so powerful. Gold is not a problem, but neither is. But I'm going to put retinues on briefly now. Yeah, raiding. I'm not really doing much raiding, actually. I am doing a lot of unit building. I'll have it that way around. Come on, press gangs, where are you? Perfect. Warrior is in place. We've had this warrior sat on the border of Yerevan for absolutely ages, just waiting. He needs five nighter, but next turn. Next turn. Actually, we want drill manuals as soon as possible as well. All improved nighter gives me plus one. All of my one nighter source will give me an extra nighter, and I quite like that. Nah, sorry, Georgia. We're not making friends. Not right now. Oh, this is going to be a difficult city to hold on to. But Izmir, you are my nighter city. You are my salvation. You really, really are. Let's quickly get a, uh, a holy site down on the river. I need you firing on all cylinders as quickly as possible, please. Thank you very much. Nighter. Nighter. Oh, this challenge. This challenge has been so stalled to turn 157, but we can finally now get our unique troops. I don't even care about the integrity of this city. Being absolutely honest with you, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just... Oh, I really, 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 really need Nighter, and I really need to attack this. We're also having reasonable success against George's religion because they have these gurus sort of just lying around in places, so I keep getting the odd kill on them. I'm fanning my religious units out into random places, making sure that we can take down everything we can. All of my other apostles are the ones helping my corsars to scout around the map, which is effective. A cool little map, actually. Cool little map indeed. Ten turns of Renaissance era. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do that. We can do that. Oh, yeah, those are the missionaries. Okay, I've seen some missionaries now. Let's send all of my debaters into this direction. We'll go and uh, attack them. Oh, there was Nitro on this island. Oh, I just found it. I settled there. Oh, I, you know, I, I think... I'll have to check the footage back. I, I don't know, but I think Georgia had already settled there. I might be wrong. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just hopeful thinking. Maybe that's... What's the opposite of, like, you remember something in a positive light? I actually never is exactly what it is, because I'm remembering it being taken... I don't even know. Oh, look! Arabia has a musket. Even they're using nitre. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. Da, 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 da. My unique unit. We're complete with a promotion. Lovely. Eight turns. I've got to get seven era score and we have done another glorious era, but it's fine. We can do it. I think we can do it. It's just going to be a little bit of a squeeze. Religious emergency. Now again. I mean, you can keep putting those through as much as you want, but uh, it's just going to make me more and more powerful. These Barbary Corsars with a military alliance, 64 strength, increase height. I mean, they're not super powerful, but hopefully these muskets, which can do some damage against my trebuchets, yeah, they can be killed fairly easily, so that's, that's nice. How's my knight doing? Every time it gets to 10, I'm going to start buying in Yanisaries and just, uh, just sending them to the front line. Oh, thank goodness. There's a city! Taken! Oh, oh joy! How many times have we got? A 5, 4, 5 era score. It's got to be a we can get that. Sure. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, Newton. Newton will be brilliant. Yeah, perfect. But let's now move. Is it worth moving Victor there? Actually, Ibrahim. Ibrahim's going to go into Cairo. So we'll move Victor across because this city has barracks in it. I'm now getting two sources of nitre, actually. That's two uh, four per turn. Brilliant. Oh, this is uh, suddenly. Suddenly the game has come alive. We've been waiting. But now here it is. Victor can start buying in Yanisaries from this city. How much 
do they cost? 480 gold. Yeah, they're really cheap, aren't they? Lovely. So mind me that I'm just going to pick up my Grand Bazaar, my unique building for River Score. I've only got to get one more. Lovely. This will get George's uh, religious units back home. Done the usual thing. I've used Yerevan to buy a couple of the apostles with the religion removing trait on them. Yerevan is very handy. I can't lie. 125 faith per turn coming in at the moment as well. We, we have some good faith progression. Now we just wait. Where are the religious defenses? I have all my debaters kind of lurking in their land as well. Georgia has the last religion. So if we can take that out, yeah. We're doing well. China we removed. We nipped this one in the bud. Georgia is pretty pretty prolific across the world, but we, we can do this. It's it's fine. Oh, that'll be the era score I'm looking for. Look at that. A city has flipped to me. Beautiful. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Okay, Yanisari. Now we're in range again of the beautiful great general. We can now start moving my troops forward. Now this pike and shot. Oh, that is a little bit scary. And it's faster because of this great general so i'm actually going to move my units back just a little bit i don't want to take an attack from that unit if i can help it potty has now flipped as well and i think tbilisi probably won't this time nope tbilisi will as well as well i think that's four more era score yeah this is turning into quite the nice little conversion in fact actually i didn't even these are just my regular apostles look at that lovely stuff Yana, sorry, my second one. Because it's not my own city, it starts, uh, it doesn't remove the population from me, and it always has a free promotion. Thing I should uh, point out again, just to remind everybody, is that every city I take over has four loyalty, one immunity, and one housing. So that's what this city has at the moment. Now, we've got quite a few things. All of these holy sites are providing a lot of immunities for my nation. We've got good population, and we're still relatively content, even though we've been at war for some time. We'll keep an eye on it, but I think we can retain uh, a fairly decent amount of happiness throughout our empire whilst we're invading. We'll see if we can pull it off, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Here is Cairo, by the way. Yay! Now, you can see the range on my special governor if I just show you this. So it was affecting Cairo before, but we're now well out of range of anything useful. So Ibrahim, I need you to move forward to the new city of Cairo. This will give me a magnificent increased range of pretty much all of the cities I need from Arabia and a couple of the ones from Georgia as well. Let's get Raid back in now. We are opening up new frontiers, new ways to attack into Arabia, and I'm enjoying this a significant amount. Like this is, this is very good. This is very, very satisfying. Yeah, these, these are strong walls. 57 strong city but I'm like whoop-bam half of them done already the Ottoman weaponry they are not to be messed with another source of knight is secured it's just a random little city but all it is is just for this one nighter that'll give me my third source so I'm getting six per turn that is three Yanissaries every five turns or so and I like those I like that that's that feels better units on your borders Georgia no no surely not i don't i don't think that would ever happen paranoia i think that's what that is um also yeah i've uh, managed to move some of my debaters to the other front line with them but that i think is all of their cities on this continent now totally converted this one is a bit of an outlier but that's fine we'll deal with that one in a second wabam and wabam that's that city taken care of as well oh the janissary it, it, this is this is not even that boosted at all the, the saraska promotion's not here There's no great general still 68 strength bam don't forget a cad means that i am using their strength to knock walls down at the moment which is brilliant by saying that i should have siege tower and then effectively they do double damage oh no hang on no that's when they have battering rams with them ah oh, well it feels twice as cool put it that way a golden age what are we going to do this time round? I like the sound of Heartbeat of Steam, and I like the sound of t Arms. We're going to go to the bottom one. Let's me declare Golden Age Wars and also produce more military units, which is a good combination. Damascus falls. Huzzah! That's really cool. And ah, yes, here we go. Saraska is back in action now. We'd like to see that this trebuchet is going to just bump. Oh, <laughs> so much damage. I love it. Oh, this is one thing to keep in mind, by the way. My unique unit is uh, upgraded and made irrelevant by line inventory so I need to make sure I don't pick up military science for as long as I can help it and my unique boat the same thing with submarines now submarines is a little further away in electricity but still it is worth hanging on to one two there we go 85 strength Janissary attack look at that bam <laughs> it's so powerful and 
I think it's probably immediately worth uh, just buying a new unit just on the front line like that. I'm not even looking to try and get them into Victor cities. It doesn't matter that much. It really, really doesn't. You can denounce me all you want, China. You're not stopping this wave. I am enjoying myself too much here. I've built up 700 military strength, which is pretty good when you notice that I'm only using three different units, but that's, that's, that's fine. Three units is all I need. Speaking of, Medina has been taken as well. Um, I've only got the four knights coming in return. I've, I've been having to wait for this encampment to fix itself. It's taken forever. But what I've managed to do is actually get all of my religious units apart from one out of George's land, which means I'm going to declare war on them momentarily. I have all of my courses are kind of like ready to go and just lurking around their land. I really, really am lurking. There's, there's a lot of damage I can do to them. They have a lot of embarked units at the moment and I just I don't want to sacrifice my religious units unnecessarily, but it is very tempting to make the move now. Okay, they, they just took themselves out of the games of loyalty. I think they lost two cities on the same turn. Mecca and Hatton over there, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, fair play, well, fair play and well done. Actually reasonably difficult to do that. Um, I reckon we can take the city this turn though. If I move this unit there, the siege tower over as well, and then I can go one attack, two attacks, and then I've got a really strong third attack. Ah, oh, not quite enough. That's fine, almost done. So things to be careful of, George's ironclad, that. <laughs> That is that is terrifying, but um, we'll we'll I'm I'm sure we'll be fine. I reckon it's actually a good time now to go to war with Georgia. So let's just have a look at this. I'm going to lose quite a significant amount of gold per turn, but I think my military ally did want to fight before. Hang on, if I just quickly do the old denunciation Rooney, because I of course have my golden age. Now I can go for a golden age war that Coupe wants in on. It's worth mentioning actually, because I haven't mentioned this in a little while. I don't ask for gold on joint war deals because there's still that bug where sometimes you can get hundreds and hundreds of joint gold per turn from them and they've never fixed it and I always feel a little bit like eh, about stealing it so that's why I don't do that. I make it a very very distinct and deliberate thing to not ask for gold. What can I do to evangelize my belief? I've got 37 cities! Oh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Um, I think faith is probably quite useful. That'd be 74, or I could get 101 gold. No, 111. Maths. I don't really know what I need. I'm kind of basically just making more units. Like gold, I think, is probably the most important thing. So I'll pop that down for now. But now it's always just worth having a look. Yep, there we go. Press Gangs is in action. Georgia. Now, you have a lot of stuff that I would like to... What's the best way of putting this? Borrow. Oh, they've left all of their units out to sea. All of them. This is a bad time for you, Georgia. I've just knocked about four of their units in one turn. And they were all their unique unit. That's got to hurt. Ooh, what's all this? Thank you so much. A yum. That's uh, industrialization and 178 science. That's uh, pretty nice for me. Let's think of something else that we could aim to do now. Ooh, should we go printing? Let's go printing. Yeah, because actually I've got enough gold already to go for a university there. Beautiful. And let me just pinch Newton as well, because then I can get a third university down somewhere. Maybe we can get printing already. One pillage, two pillage. Villages, three combat strength bonus against the AI. That's that's a lovely thing. Now the, here is the ironclad. The ironclad is tough. This this is going to blow me to bits if I'm not careful. To try and get a trebuchet in range because I can do some damage against boats with siege equipment. Not not a huge amount, but enough. Oh, coal. How much coal have we got? Some. Oh, in Mecca we can go and improve this. I want to improve all my coal if I can. Some under Damascus. Some on my little island, my misplaced night island. I do have coal, so you know it was worth it for something. I know it's a knight of mine, but I'm going to steal it anyway. Mercantilism. This is where we get exciting. Press gangs is really useful, but I like my melee troops at the moment more than I like my boats. So we're going to pop that one in. That takes me to nine knight per turn. That's a big difference for me. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ironclad managed to almost trap it. Almost. Now, Newton. Do I have any more campuses? Oh, I do have one over there. That one already... No, it doesn't have a university in it. Perfect. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll get a huge science spike from all that, hopefully. These Georgian cities may be pretty defensible, but when you have enough boats with Crusades stood around them, they start to pack a little bit of a punch. And I reckon in like three turns, we'll get that wall down almost to zero. Plus... 
you know, there's always a Yanisaur around the corner ready to strike. This coastal raiding is so much fun. Stealing that, steal that. It's like 800 gold I just pinched there. What do I do with it? There comes a point where you start thinking about it and you go, I have no idea. <laughs> Could, could do anything with it who knows i'll make some more of my boats honestly i need to just sort of stack these together in order to properly attack georgia with them because she has strong walls a couple of bombards might be quite handy as well although should we get flight then we can get observation balloons yeah actually that's really sensible why do we do that best thing about having crusade getting era score when you convert somebody at war it's three era score Oh, beautiful. Also, because our boats are naval raiders, the AI will frequently put things into the sea, not realizing that you have units there. So the amount of units you can kill when they're embarked is insanely good. It, it, it's so powerful. I'm not sure people often realize that's why it happens. The AI physically cannot see your units, so they just assume they're not there. Is that another city taken? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Okay, Gory is the next up. I think, yeah, we should have some pretty good hits on that. There's just not many land tiles to attack that one from, but I'm wondering whether or not actually Ibrahim is due a move. If I pop him in a CAD, I think that'll have good range on quite a few cities. None of the northern ones, but they're less of a priority, but certainly all of the southern ones, no. Maybe the city I've just picked up is a little better. Eden, oh, that's much better. Yeah, okay, right, I've just made my mind up. Oh, these pillage runs, they will never get old. They will never get old. A yoink, yoink, and yoink all in one. That's uh, 1,155 gold. Oh, can't do the maths in my head, but yeah, a lot. Like, a, 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 fair, a fair yoink. Don't mind me if I borrow one of your cities on the islands, Georgia, though. Lovely stuff, beautiful. Oh, what's that? A field cannon. I don't know if I approve of such technology. It uh, feels a little bit violent. I'll have to kill it with my angry units. My next step is I'm looking to start a little bit of an invasion force on China. I don't want to let them get too technologically ahead. They do have renaissance walls in places. I don't like that, but I mean, that's a 15 population unprotected city that has crusade on the coast. I'm merely passing by. Don't you worry about it, China. Don't you worry. I would never lie. I have never lied once in this entire game. That, that, by the way, is, is, a, is a definite lie. I have been lying continually throughout this game. Literally, I can say what I want to people right now because, I mean, honestly, who's going to stop me? Oh, sorry, sir. Do, do you mind if I pillage this first? You know, you look wonderful. I said, oh, yes, no, that's of course. I'll, I'll come and do it now as well. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, yeah, look at this. Danger Island. Da, 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 this is what I mean about the double attack. The siege tower actually means that I can bypass the city and do damage to it, even though I'm also using a CAD to break the walls down with the attack, so both bars go down at once. Very effective. Military emergency? No. Aid request? No. We don't need to worry about either of those things. Oh, religious emergency? Did that just fail or something? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, well, it failed in the sense that I won. Cool. Well, I guess I'll get the reward for that next turn. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, no, the religious emergency was up here, wasn't it? No, I failed that. Never mind. It's fine. We'll, we'll go back and get that in a bit. Ah, damn. Do you remember I was like, we should attack before they level up a bit? That's 70 strength now. Oh, painful. Anyway, observation balloons will help a lot with this sort of assault. Plus, again, my economy is just being funded by everybody. They're like, yeah, sure. You're at war with the world. Have some money. We'll buy your things. And I'm sort of sat there going, yeah, all right, cool. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratiz, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Craig Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Henry, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time. Thank you all for your support, it's amazing, see you all next time, Bye!